Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for February 2021 for the sign of Capricorn. So let's get straight into your reading Capricorn and pull a few oracle cards and then we'll go into some tarot cards. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Capricorn. February 2021. Remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Capricorn. And these are just spirit messages. Okay, so let's pull your first card. I have forgive and forget, Capricorn. Remember, forgiveness is for the benefit of you more than anybody else. It helps you not carry toxic energy with you. So what do we have for Capricorn? Please, Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Capricorns, February 2021, thank you. Message for Capricorn. Yeah, we have find your centre. Your outside world is a reflection and manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Very nice energy indeed. Okay, message for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. So, oh, very nice. <laughs> you know, this is very much like this. It feels like, you know, you've you've been through a tunnel, but you're stepping into the light here because I have number 25, living light energy. It's a way of life. It's stepping into your light. And you can see it's demonstrated by a tree, which is all about growth. Um, see the beauty in life, you know? It's also a great earth energy sign as well, grounding yourself and grow, you know, it feels that kind of energy here. And, okay, thank you, that turned over very quickly. It's coming out a lot this card this month, we have Badger, bring your life into balance, Archangels Mary and Sandalphon. It feels like you are bringing, it definitely feels like you are stepping into your light, bringing your life back into balance, finding your center again, regrouping and moving on from something that maybe you just need to make peace with, you know? However challenging, because it's for your benefit in terms of your growth and reconnecting to the beauty in life once more. So, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. What's the message from spirit, please? So Capricorn, the first card is the message from spirit. Second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is any action or final advice. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? February 2021. Thank you. Nice, King of Wands. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Very nice energy indeed. And we have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the World. Very, very interesting there, Capricorn. So again, for some of you, the King of Wands, male or female energy. Um fire energy but you know what this is an energy of it's an energy of somebody being in their power taking the lead standing in their own power this is a card of of back on your throne taking the lead standing in your power um it feels very very beautiful energy here the king of wands is somebody who is a natural leader as well so can talk about leadership um, something to do with leadership or taking the lead in your life now. He's a card of action, you know, he's a go-getting energy. He doesn't really accept defeat, you know, he only focuses on visions for the future, 
You know, it's that kind of energy. And that's what you're being told. It feels for some of you, it is about getting that passion back, reconnecting to your power here, releasing whatever's gone on here in this situation, forgive and forget. Because for some of you, there is an opportunity. New paths are opening up for you. We There's the beauty of life again. You can see with a the tree, there's all different paths, you know. And it definitely feels for some of you, it, it, feels in this instance that there's greater things ahead so definitely this energy of step into your power take your power back now the kings can also be offers opportunities as well remember too now it's linked with this the nine of cups so this message about taking the lead now standing your own in your own power seeing the beauty of life addressing the balance in life as well it can be a card of going for what makes you happy. I mean, the Nine of Cups is also can be a goal card as well, a wish coming true. So taking the lead now, because for some of you, a wish can come true. Uh, very, very beautiful energy. Um, this is also a card of, of reasons to be thankful you know, celebratory energy. So it can link with celebration where you're sharing your cups with other people, you know, in terms of celebration coming together. It feels very beautiful and the energy. The message from Spirit is an interesting one because it says the way you're looking at something determines how you move forward. The eight of swords the swords energy is to do with the mind our perspective uh, how we see something our thought patterns our perceptions um it can be when we feel something is beyond our control it can also be you know capricorn when i'm getting in this energy that just something doesn't serve you anymore and there is this energy of releasing from it now you know, don't focus on what that negative experience is. It might well be, you know, for some of you, it just doesn't serve me anymore. And now is the time for me to take action and focus on what I do want as a goal, what's going to make me happy, what is going to bring me greater fulfillment, happiness, joy, heart's desire, energy, in whatever aspect. Because for some of you, there is a message right next to this Eight of Swords. Step through to a new phase of your life. This is the major completion card, the world card. Um, so it definitely feels for some of you, there's definitely some kind of release. Put it behind you. You've learnt lessons, but it doesn't serve you to focus on whatever this Eight of Swords was anymore, which can be a card of negative thinking, feeling stuck in your own head, that kind of energy. Um, you know, prisoner of the mind, that kind of thing. This is a card of stepping into your power. You know, and seeing the beauty in life once more and definitely releasing from whatever this forgive and forget is, make peace with something and allow yourself to focus on what is going to bring greater happiness and fulfillment into your life because it's available to you. The world card is also a card of uh, achievement. So very, very good in terms of worldly success, achievement, goal achievement again. So again, these two energies can represent some kind of personal goal achievement as well um worldly success accomplishment even travel as well for some of you can be linked with some travel as well but it definitely feels in this energy this is what's available to you the nine of cups real content happiness joy full fulfilled you know, in achieving this purpose here. So for some of you, that is where the focus needs to be. And that's what the message of spirit is. You are powerful enough. Reconnect to your power and understand that when you do, you know, the sky's the limit. The king of wands is the sky's the limit because when somebody is in their power, the sky really is the limit in what they can accomplish. And that's what you're being told. So have the vision for the future because it feels like something, some kind of goal is within your grasp here. Don't feel small. Don't focus on the negative. This is an energy of whatever you focus on doesn't serve you anymore, you know? And it feels in this situation now is the time to, to step through to focus on what will bring you this absolutely beautiful energy so I'm going to pull you a final card if 
final message for Capricorn. Thank you. Oh, you see, we've got a growth again. Look, we have number 43. Continue to grow by seeking new knowledge. We applaud your efforts. Look at the growth energies, you know, and look at the growth energy there, you know, and it's light energy. So very, very beautiful energy indeed, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.